Hey all, it's Alma with the Cat's Pajamas, and if you saw my video on how to create these cute heart topiaries using stamps and dies from the Cat's Pajamas and supplies from the Dollar Tree, I bet you're wondering just what happens after Valentine's Day. Well, you turn the heart topiaries into lavender topiaries, of course. They're the perfect complement to farmhouse, French provincial, shabby chic, just about any type of decor. They're super easy to make, so let's get started. Start by removing the hearts and sticks from the stamp pots from the heart topiaries. You'll also need one of these denuded flower stems, floral tape, and floral wire, and these greenery bouquets from the Dollar Tree. Take one bundle and start fluffing out the leaves and flowers. While you're doing this, start forming the foliage into a cup shape. See the shape? Now take a second bouquet and do the same thing. I use three of these bouquets for each topiary, but you can use four if you want fuller ones. Sometimes the bouquet doesn't want to play nice, so just keep forming it and bending it into the shape that you want. For the third bunch, just fluff out the bunch as much as you can. Now place this bouquet into the cup of one of the other bouquets and take the final cup and add that to the bunch. See how that forms a nice round shape? Now I found that the stem height of the bouquets was the perfect height for the flower pots. So I needed something to extend them so they could poke into the pots. And that's where the denuded flower stem comes in. Slide the stem onto the three bouquet stems and wrap all of the stems together with floral wire. Then take floral tape and wrap around the stems to cover all the stems and the wire. Remember to pull the tape gently when you're wrapping so that it activates the wax that's embedded in the tape and that'll help the tape stay in place. Once you get it going, it's pretty easy just to hold the tape and twirl the bouquet. It goes pretty fast, actually. Make sure you cover up all the wire and the stems. You don't want anything showing and you don't want any sharp points sticking out. Let's do a test fit. Trim off any excess. Now see that weird looking bump? That's actually where the top of the foam will be and it will be covered by the moss. Now it's just a matter of inserting. Insert the topiaries into the foam. I just love these pretty little topiaries, but I don't love the area where I can see the top of the tape. So we're going to hide that with a little burlap bow. And I'm going to be using this wired burlap ribbon from Dollar Tree. Now this bow is going to be a simple one. Just two loops and two short dovetailed tails. I'll grab my special fabric cutting scissors that I use for cutting fabric only. And I'll cut a dovetail. Am I the only one that marks their fabric scissors with a little ribbon? Okay. 
I think this looks pretty good. So this is how I do the bow. Just a tail to a loop and a second loop to a tail. No turning or folding or anything fancy. I'll keep adjusting the loops until I get them where I want them. I'll just scrunch the center of the bow together and I'll use a piece of jute to tightly tie off the bow. A little zhuzh and the bow's done. Now let's do the second one. A little hot glue and we're done. I love these little topiaries almost as much as I love repurposing my existing decor. I can see changing out these topiaries for almost every holiday there is year-round. And when Valentine's Day rolls around again, I'll just pull out the hearts on the sticks and change them out. I hope you like this video and give it a try. Have a great day!